Hello, and welcome to the latest episode of Through the Pages. It has been a while, busy farmer's market season. I'm back in action now, back reading. Today, we're talking about The Winners by Frederick Bachman. I opened this just thinking it was a new Frederick Bachman, and then all of a sudden I started to recognize characters and realized it's part of the Beartown series, which I thought was done. And, oh my, I... I could never have imagined loving books about hockey so much. I'm just not a sports guy, so I think that's a real testament to these books that they are, there's so much more to them than the plot. And I think that's something I'm realizing more and more that like I can be sort of turned off by like a plot on a book. Like recently, um, two friends have recommended me this book that's about like two video game designers. And initially I've been like, I'm really into video games, but now I'm kind of like, I don't know if that's it, you know, like, Probably give that a read. Um, but so, The Winners. This just came out in America this year. Um, it was uh, last year in Sweden. It's translated. Um, I, if you've been following this channel, I just love Frederick Bachman. Um, I don't know how many of his I've reviewed on here. Timeline is, is murky in my head. But his last one, Anxious People, was bang. That's just a great book. Like that, My Sister Need a Road Trip book is like, that's, that's just a good book all the time. These books... Um, so they are very like character driven, I would say. And as always, no spoilers here, um, would not do anything to ruin the, ruin this book or the series for you. I want you to read these. Um, so what I think I liked most about this is that like, I don't know, it's very easy to sink into both in the characters and the story. And it, it, it's not to say that the book is without challenge, but it is kind of an easy read, um, emotionally, there's a lot going on, but like language wise, everything, it just like as intimidating as a, a 670 page book can be, it's a breeze. Like I, I think I read it in a week and I um, haven't been reading much lately, just working whatnot. But um, yeah, it, it really does a good job of like adding to it. It doesn't feel like you're like milking a story at all. Like he, he really knocked it out of the park and it's interesting to like the how you can cover so much ground in such a small town like you would think kind of culturally like pretty much everyone is the same like oh <laughs> probably a ge big generalization but like you get such a niche of a like small town small area in this country where like hockey is the whole thing but there's still such differences and then in the scope of these stories so much time has passed so like so much development can happen i just feel like i i learn a lot in his books sort of about like relationship dynamics. And I think that's what I go to him most for. So I almost like hesitate to be like, it's a book about hockey towns. Cause like, it's really about like kind of class and relationship dynamics. Kids were in high school kind of growing out of the house now. And man, I, I cannot recommend these books highly enough. Um, it's early morning. I feel like my brain's not operating at a hundred percent right now, but, um, I actually recorded this video once before and I had I did it at nighttime which was my first time doing it and had all these like 5,000 Kelvin lights on and I watched the video and I looked like I had probably died maybe 15 years ago so redid that one um but man I'm just enamored with with him like I think I'll probably read everything he's written it's just such a style of writing that's just like how could you not like it the only thing that I find, and this isn't even necessarily specific to the winners and not to like deviate from the subject here, but um, my only drawback on Frederick Bachman is there are occasionally, and this is probably just me being judgmental, some paragraphs that will like finish with one sentence too many, like a little kind of like heavy handed, like, and that's why in this town we had like some just like kind of ham fisted sentence at the end. Um, where sometimes I was like, we know, we know what they're feeling. Like, we don't have to, like, say it so bluntly. Um, but, yeah, this is only the second series I've read as an adult. Besides, like, I think the bunch of kid ones I, that, that I read. But, um, so Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series, other one. And I've always wondered, like, am I so enamored with that series because it's so good? Which, yes, that's true. Um... Or is it because I've given 2,000 pages to these characters and I've never done that with a book? Like, so, I mean, I, I think I started to feel that with this is like, wow, when you get so much depth, the, it just has so, so much to go on in there. And like, they're, 
they're so good and they're so worthwhile. And like, if you look at the books, you're like, they get longer and longer. Like this book's too short. Like I, I, I would want more. Like it is a perfect bookend to the series. There doesn't need to be another one. Um, but boy, boy, can he write? Um, yeah, I, I literally just saw yet a new one and I started cracking into it and it was such a delight to find that this was new. Um, the book to, to, just do a little bit of subject on it without spoiling anything. Like, shit, I don't want to spoil anything in the other books too, and it pretty much builds on those. But um, the core of the first book, which everyone like, that's this that's what it is that there is a a rape in town, and it basically like divides the town. You know, like uh, just like uh, we shouldn't talk about that. Like this, who this involves, everything. It makes everything so dicey, and so like this just really kind of like. You know, it's years past then, people get back to town and, like, and just reanalyzing things and the town having changed so much, having to develop and having to deal with these difficult problems. And, yeah, it's really kind of neat to see, like, you know, the people of that era and then as they're kind of, like, shaking out into life, like, where that leads. Like, you see these kids and then, like, later on, you're like, oh, these are adults. And then as now, like, I'm a bit more of an adult, I'm 31 now, where, like, you start to see the roles that the kids we grew up with fill in that aren't so dissimilar from the parents and like, Oh, okay. Like I, I see where we go. Not all in line with our parents, but I see how roles get filled in, in that sort of way. Um, I'm probably going to wrap it at this point. Cause I, like I said, it's early. My brain is not great. I feel like I rambled for like twice as long in the first video I did. And I think it was probably half as good. So, um, Thank you for rocking with my channel. Um, if you're just watching this video one off, no worries. But I uh, uh, would appreciate a little, little thumbs up, little YouTube stuff. Um, but I do plan to get back in action here. I have, no, I have two other books that I've read that I'll be reviewing here. I'm very happy to be back. If you want more videos from Through the Pages YouTube channel, drop a comment below. Let me know you're alive out there. Also, if you've read a Frederick Bachman book, what's your favorite? What's your favorite Frederick Bachman book? Thank you for watching, YouTube.